Hey guys, today I want to talk about the TV show Ted Lasso. So as many of you already know, I don't typically watch a lot of television. I watched a ton of it growing up. I feel like I had my fill and while TV is great, I decided to spend my time more constructively, I guess, although lately it's been lazy. <laughs> So I don't know how constructive it really is. Um, but a friend recently got me into the show. I know I'm a little late. I don't know if there's gonna be spoilers in this. I haven't planned out what I'm going to say. So if you haven't seen it, maybe I'll put something, maybe I'll edit this so you know whether you should cut off now. But many people have already seen the show. I'm late to the party per usual. A lot of times I'll just sort of buck a trend for a while. I'm like, ugh, I don't wanna get on the bandwagon. And then one day, sometimes, depending on what it is, I do. And I'm like, why did it take me so long to start enjoying this? And that's the case with Ted Lasso. I didn't realize how great of a television, television show it really is. The writing, the acting, the messages. And so this is just going to be a bunch of messages that I got from the show, or the ones that I can think of off the top of my head currently. <laughs> not being like fresh off of just finishing it. I finished it, well, I finished it last night, but still. Um, I, uh, so I've given my brain time to sort of percolate. And I just think they, they're doing a very beautiful thing with mental health, with just showing the reality of that, you know, people even who are in the spotlight, their lives are not perfect. And even if they have maybe a dream job, their lives are not perfect. And so there's just a lot of those things. But I guess I wanna start by saying, I know Jason Sudeikis, who was an SNL actor, comedian, um, I'm pretty sure he seems like an improviser because uh, some of the stuff he did, I'm like, I bet this was improvised or he's he's got improv training. Um, it made me realize because he developed the show and of course he's the star Ted Lasso, that comedians are sort of our modern day sages. Um, I mean, we kind of saw that really if um, you watched, uh, what was it on Comedy Central? with Jon Stewart, why am I blanking on that? <laughs> Gosh, that he became sort of a political pundit, even though it was supposed to be comedy, but people go to him and John Oliver for actual political news instead of going to the news. So it kind of like flipped, it went from the news being reputable to now it's entertainment and for entertainment is becoming like a reputable source of news, it's so bizarre. Um, I don't watch any of those shows, I used to, but I don't watch them anymore, anything news related. Um, so it just got me thinking that it's funny how our comedians are really giving us these truth bombs in big ways if we really just pay attention. And um, it's like through the guise of laughter, but there's a lot in there. And I think that's the beauty of comedy is that it can really kind of put some medicine of humanity and our life lessons in a, a very palatable way, which is laughter. So I really appreciate that about comedy. Um, it's like, ah, yes, there's the lesson. And since we're humans, we have this shared experience, so a lot of this stuff is just so relatable. So for my psychology nerds, I think, and you can tell me what you think, I think the character Ted Lasso's an FE user, probably an FE dom, which is extroverted feeling, which I'm an Effie Dom, um, although I don't have the energy that Ted has. <laughs> like, woo! Um, I can sometimes, but usually I'm, I don't know, more even keel, I think. I think. Um, but I think he's an ESFJ, and I'm an ENFJ, so there's that difference too. So you can tell me what you think for those of you that have seen the show and that love psychology, if that's what type you think he is, but he's just so good about bringing the team together, inspiring them, motivating them, really picking up on their feelings, really caring about their feelings, talking about feelings, um, empathizing. So just got big Effie Dom vibes. <laughs> like, yeah, if an Effie Dom was a coach, this is what they would be like, which, is actually one of the things for us is the coach or the mentor or the teacher because we have that strength. So, oh yes, hi Miss Capo. Of course she wants to say hi again. She's crying so she wants to say hi. But, um, so I noticed that which I thought was interesting that they put a, a character that is really um, warm-hearted, tender, empathetic instead of a coach that's maybe hardened mean, although Ted had his moments, but he had to basically force himself to be that way. 
Um, I just thought that was really neat because then you can see how the dynamics with the different personality types and um, so, yeah, and how that played out. So I think um, one of the messages is just never give up. And I think with his motivating the team constantly, I know the, the sign of the believe sign that they had in their locker room. I just think it was it was really cool to see that they didn't win all the time. I mean, of course, what team wins all the time, but they weren't like a really successful team because um, it was about a soccer for those of you that haven't seen it, it's about us. Um, sorry, should give you some context. It's about a soccer team in England that I I want to say they're not like top tier, but they're you know professional level. And of course, Ted's from Midwest America, and he's coming over <laughs> to coach them. And I just thought oh, that's so cool that you get to see the struggles because it was like constantly something with the team or something with um you could see the different team members lives and there was just always something going on it's not like they had this perfect life because i think um sometimes i do this and maybe you do too and they said it's an enneagram four thing i'm like well i'm supposed to be an enneagram four um that we just assume that other people's lives just are smoother and are easier and we're just struggling 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 and we're like why can't we figure it out like everyone else has figured it out and so oh <laughs> People's rubbing on the tripod. I think it was a nice reminder, even though it's a television show. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> that you can even reach that level of success where you're a professional player in soccer or whatever it is that you do, and you're still gonna have those human problems, marital problems, relationship problems life problems, people not liking you for one reason or another, who you are, how you look, you know, your cultural background, whatever it is. And so it's just like, yeah, we've all got that. We've all got that. But it was really cool. Another lesson that I thought was cool is just seeing how people can grow and change over time and evolve. And um, I don't know if I should say what character really changes. I mean, they all really do they all have their own arc but there's one in particular who goes from like just a very selfish person to a very giving person and you just see how people can be impacted and influenced and so it's like oh this is why it's so important that we all put out as much as we can right we're not perfect and we're gonna have bad days but as much as we can influence people for good and love on them and, and give them grace and mercy forgiveness um because we're not perfect and we deserve those things too. And so it's neat to see if a human gets those things and that love and that kindness and that time and attention that maybe they didn't get growing up, that they can um, thrive because we're all like little plants and we just need sunlight, water, and the right nutrients, the soil, and we can grow like gangbusters, but you put us out in the desert depending on what the plant is if you're a cactus you're gonna be good in the desert <laughs> but if you know you need a lot of water and you're in the desert you're not going to survive so environment is huge um who you surround yourself with is huge that was another thing um and i think too just having hope that um things can change things can get better there's always tomorrow you never know what's around the corner um it's funny because there's a character named Rebecca, like me, and um, you get to see her really have hope again, and that's really a cool thing. So, gosh, so many, so many, so many great things. And if you're a music nerd like I am and a musical theater nerd, there were so many Easter eggs in there. It made me so happy. Oh my gosh, I thought, I hope people are picking up on this stuff. It's so brilliant. All the song references and artists. And even things like Ted would say, hey, what's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. I'm like, aha, that is a song from Jesus Christ Superstar or um, a line from a song in Jesus Christ Superstar. And I'm like, only musical theater nerds are going to catch that. <laughs> um, so yeah, oh my gosh. And if you saw, I have like a Patron shirt on by the way, and it's not because they sponsor my channel. <laughs> that would be interesting, right? But I'm actually doing a brand ambassador job where I'm about to give out samples. So, and I'm like, oh no, I don't know if I should wear like sponsory type stuff. Um, 
so you might have seen the little, I think it's a B. I think that's the logo, but anyway. So I'm gonna keep this around the 10 minute mark, which is the sweet spot for YouTube, but I could talk, I could wax poetic. I think they did such a great job of putting together something modern that has so much heart and soul. Um, so if that's something up your alley with some comedy, please check it out. There is a lot of cursing, so if you don't like the F-bomb, they do drop it a lot. Um, they're in England, and I figure they're probably, Brits probably curse a lot, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just, it's good to see entertainment with heart. I hope there's more of that. I really do. So, all right. Well, I love you guys. I'm going to wrap it up because I got to go to this gig, but um, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.